Hey there, Susan C and I am back with another video. And I know that sometimes you guys wonder, okay, Susan, now your kids are grown, but what about when they were younger? Tell us about some of those times. And I was doing some spring cleaning in my house and came across a journal that I had from 2008. And this is rich gold. I was reading through this and it was interesting to reflect on my own life and to go, oh my goodness, I don't think I celebrate enough how far we've come because there were times when, gosh, a five minute nap felt like heaven. And I was like, yes, like five minutes of quiet is like golden, right? Like I know that those of you who are in that season are like, yes, like let's talk about those moments. So let me share with you one of my journal entries. It is actually a prayer I wrote out on October 22nd, 2008. Right. And let's give you a perspective, some context on my household at this time. So the baby that I'm referring to was just born. That was baby number six. And the other children from top to bottom, my oldest was 12, 10, 8, 5 and 2. And then I've got a brand new baby. Here's the prayer I wrote out in this journal. Heavenly Father, today my goal is to reestablish routine and order since the birth of baby Akila on the second. Mom left to return home this morning. Ron is planning to return to his work routine, so I am back in the saddle again. Lord, help me to submit my plans and goals to you. Help me to not fret or worry when all doesn't go according to my plans. <laughs> help us all to walk in the fruit of the Spirit. Let your Spirit's presence be abundant in this place. Show me your will for our day. May our actions bring you glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. And I wrote all of that out. And now I'm going to give you a glimpse into what my world looked like, because look at this journal. Can you see this? Let's see. Can the camera pick that up? I can't tell if it's picking it up for you. I don't think it is. Oh man. Let's see. There we go. Look at what happened to that glorious, wonderful, sincere, heartfelt prayer, right? Like it all got just turned into um, some toddler's fun book. And that is about what my life looked like. Like I had this amazing moment with Jesus in the morning and it was a sincere heartfelt prayer. God, help my help me to submit my plans and goals to you and help me not to worry when things don't go according to my way. And then this madness happens this <laughs> like this was probably five seconds after I wrote this I probably put this down to go nurse the baby or change the diaper and the toddler is like oh look mommy a notebook and like they went to town on this thing and I found this and I laughed and laughed and laughed because I was like exactly like if my life looks all put together to you or if it looks like I know what I'm doing or I'm super organized or whatever you might be making up in your mind, I'm trying to tell you, like, here's the for real, for real. Like I set out, I did this prayer. I was sincere about the prayer and life happened, right? And that is our experience as moms. And if we ever begin to think that we will get everything set. Here's everything. Everybody will be fed and happy. Hmm. No, you feed one, then the other one's happy. Then you feed the other one, then that first one's hungry again. And then you're just like, ah, everyone will be clean at the same time. No, we did baths, but then somebody decided to take off running and got all into whatever, Play-Doh, ink, markers, whatever. And they're all dirty and junked up again, right? Like that's what our life is really like. And in our heart, we want to just see something get done. In our heart, we just want to have everything complete and settled. And yet we get to deal with this world, you know, the world where we're praying and at the same time, life is happening and ladies i want to encourage us that that is truly the walk it's being able to have that prayer be a heart prayer and have the doodles and scribbles all over it and allow that to be okay 
to not fall out and fret and worry and think it will always be this way and I'll never get sleep and I'll never eat a hot meal and I'll never take a shower alone and I'll never use the bathroom in peace and I'll never be able to go to the grocery store and actually get what I came in there to get without forgetting 15 times what I was trying to get because I was trying to answer everybody's questions and deal with their requests for stuff they know I wasn't trying to buy or ever and on and on and on. Like that's our walk with Jesus. It is not this monk experience of quiet and prayer and reflection. You know, when I hear people say, are you having your quiet time with Jesus? I just think, um, so I haven't had that since, um, like ever as a mom, like quiet time with Jesus. Like, you know, it's not quiet when I'm with Jesus, but I'm with Jesus, right? Like I have time for prayer and I think that's what he wants for me because he blessed me with these children. But sometimes we elevate the quiet experience with the Lord. We elevate the quiet life. And I want to say, hey, it's not an error when we have a house full of kids, when our children are young or when our children are active and with us, that our lives are loud and noisy and busy. That's all good. And let's allow that to be what God uses to shape our hearts toward him. And let's use those experiences we're having day to day that tend to want to stretch us and cause us frustration to allow us instead to stretch into that next um, level of faith with God. And let's also pass that on to our children to say, here's some opportunities for all of us to grow. And here's some opportunities for us to trust God. And let's all do that together. It's not about the quiet worship experience. It's about, can we pray to God, talk to God, trust God in the midst of these kind of moments? I believe that we can. I believe that we should. And I believe that together we can definitely do it because we will encourage one another to go, girl, crazy in my house too. It just is. And God is good. So I hope that encourages you, gives you a little glimpse into my life when I have six children and my oldest was 12. And that is what my days look like. They were never all good. They were lots of good moments and a lot of hard moments all mixed in there together. And I just kept trusting God every step of the way. And I encourage you to do the same. I'm Susan C. Always glad to be with you. And I will talk to you next time. Bye for now.